Paul and Goose, but anyhow, he was a barber. And he cut your hair for, what was it, for a quarter, mm -hmm. or 15 cents, he cut your hair. A good barber, too. He also would shinny up a coconut tree and um, where the big blooms come, stalk come down on the coconut tree, mm -hmm. pod comes up like that and opens out for big coconuts. He took a piece of bamboo that's about five or six inches in diameter. And you know, the sections are about that long. Well, they made, uh, they, where the bamboo has a sprout come down to the side and they would cut the bamboo off up here. Then they cut it just underneath the end of it mm -hmm. and bend that sprout up and make a, a carry water in it. It's like a oh. container. Yeah. Make a big jug and carry water around in it. So they took one of those up there under that coconut tree and strapped it to the tree and bent the bloom down and tied it down in there and then cut it off. Then they packed the, you know, the fiber around the coconut tree tree has got all that fiber packed that around here to keep bugs out of it and all of the juice that would be going to the coconuts was dripping into that into did you guys that drink that did you guys drink it <coughs> not right away no no what happened was they let it sit up there for about two three weeks and it would it almost filled the thing up and then it would ferment oh. and it set up and ferment and after about two or three weeks the natives down there, that was their favorite thing. And they called it tuba. That was the name for their fermented juice. It's like a beer or something. It's like a, like a coconut oh, beer. It wasn't, it wasn't bad at all. Oh, okay. You know? But then some of them had an old boy from Tennessee down and he kept looking at stuff saying, man, he said, that's too bad. I said, what do you mean too bad? He says, man, I ought to run that off. <laughs> I said, you Tennessee whiskey making boy. He said, we need a, con we need a condenser, some condenser on that. I said, well, there's got to be something around there like this. I got to thinking about it. I said, wait a minute. We had to replace an oil cooler. It was a little radiator on an airplane. And the oil went down and threw this little oil cooler right behind the prop to cool the oil. And I had some brand new ones. I said, well, how about that for a condenser? And he said, man, that'd be perfect. So we set it up. We made us a still. Oh, my God. And here he is over there boiling off this tuba and making it in the barrels over here and pouring it in there and making it all. Boy. I, mean, you, I think the, the natives weren't paying much attention to what was The going natives on. already had a way of doing it. They, they found out a way to do it. But anyhow, we may improve very much mm -hmm. on that. But the one after it was distilled, they called it almost pure alcohol. They called it Aggie. And we used to say that's short for agony. Oh, <laughs> and uh, so we would run off some tuba and go down and run off the still. We'd run off some, a bunch of, this, of some of the Aggie. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, you, right. Did you have to share it with the officers because they found out about it? Oh, yeah. And you tell me, you know, the executive uh, officer yeah. found out about that. And they, they were very broad-minded if you, if you oh, shared yeah. it with them. Okay. How long were you there? Mm -hmm. Guam? Mm -hmm. About a year and a half or mm -hmm. something like that. I was three years in the Navy, but I was on Guam. At least you were somewhere where it was warm.